As the Ramadan fast commences this week, the Nigerian Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs has urged Muslims in the country to hold lectures online due to the coronavirus outbreak. The council stated this on Tuesday in an advisory to Muslims in the country. President General of the Council and Sultan of Sokoto, Muhammad Saad Abubakar, said all congregational worships noted with the holy month have been suspended. He said scholars of Islam throughout the world are unanimous that the Prophet of Islam warned against the spread of contagious diseases and urged Muslims to prevent the spread. To help us understand the impression this is creating, we are now joined by social commentator Saidu Bashir. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you very much for having me. All right. An instruction has been given out. What is the reception to this? Well, um, uh, there's no... Um, I mean, it's very obvious now that we have a pandem pandemic out there. And this Ramadan is going to be very different. Um, it is important that all the prayers are done uh, indoors to uh, prevent any spread of the disease. We understand the importance of Ramadan. Ramadan is a time of spiritual reflection. It's a time for gratitude, for empathy, and all of this. But it's also important that we realize the, um, the seriousness of the situation at hand, and we keep safe this period. Has there ever been a situation that you know of that had necessitated this kind of decision? Um, honestly, this is, um, is the first time that um, I've experienced anything like this. Uh, from my understanding, it's even the first time that the Holy Mosque, the Kaaba in Saudi Arabia, would be shot completely where you don't have anybody performing you know, the uh, pilgrimage or performing their rituals there. So it's a, it's a very unusual situation, and, uh, but most importantly, it's, um, it's a call to, um, to duty for everyone because the health issue, and it's, uh, it's global, we need to address it as such, uh, and uh, we need to stay at home to prevent the spread because uh, as we can see what is happening in Kano now, you know, the, 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 the virus is spreading. So all the uh, Tajweed, the religious gathering, praying together would need to avoid anything of such. What would you advise them to do to, um, as again, focusing on the fact that they can do all the usual things to make the situation more tolerable um, in isolation? Well, um, like I said, this is a period for deep spiritual reflection. It's a time for gratitude. It's a time for sharing. You can share things to your neighbors within your community. You know, so it's, it's, uh, like it's, it's an unusual situation. We have to avoid the gathering, but it should not stop us from the important things that we should do. Like giving arms while still, uh, uh, you know, ensuring that you maintain social distance and all the things we've been asked not to do. Okay, what about some people, Muslims, that are doubtful of the reality of this virus? They say it is just uh, something engineered to try and deter them from expressing and practicing their faith. Well, I think any Muslim that has doubt today should check the Kaaba. The Kaaba has never been shut down. That's the holiest mosque in Islam. It has been shut down. That tells you the seriousness of this issue. If the Kaaba can be shut down, then you don't have any reason in your little mosque or your uh, uh, gathering why you should not abstain from, you know, uh, uh, coming together. And there are a lot of online resources that are available as well for you to gather information so you can have, um, you know, religious leaders like we do a lot of sermons within that period. These, all these things can be done using te technology now. So you're not really missing anything uh, as such. All right. Thank you very much for sharing your thoughts with us on the news. Thank you.